What time do you believe you got to Brian Albert's house that morning when you, after you received the phone calls or woke up? What time did you make your way back over to Brian Albert's house? Maybe around 7, 7.15 in that area. Was there any law enforcement presence there when you arrived? I can't recall specifically. There could have been one police car. I'm not positive. Did any officer ever ask you to take a look at your vehicle? At what time? That time. At any, but actually, at any time. Uh, no, I, I, not to my knowledge, no, nobody from law enforcement associated with the investigation had ever asked to take a look at my vehicle. So they certainly didn't ask that day, correct? On the 20... What I'm saying is, I, to my knowledge, it, it, nobody has ever asked me that. Right. So that's my point. I'm just trying to break it down. You're breaking, you, you want to tell me every instance when somebody could have asked me? Correct. Okay. On the 29th, were you asked whether or not your vehicle could be searched? Searched or inspected? What do you What do you mean? Either one. Well, I would consider a search the inside of the vehicle more so than the outside. I would consider the outside more of an inspection. I would have been happy to show them it. I'm sure you would have. I'm asking, did they ask? No. They didn't ask to search it. They didn't ask to inspect it. No. Uh, so we met with troopers. Who was it that you met with on uh, the, the the third of February? Trooper Proctor and Trooper Buchanan. Did either Trooper Proctor or Tro Trooper Buchanan? Ask to inspect your vehicle, otherwise search it? Not to my recollection. And to this day, nobody from Massachusetts State Police has ever indicated that they want to inspect your vehicle? No. When you entered the house that morning, uh, Brian Albert was there, Nicole Albert, Jen McCabe, Matt McCabe, Brian Albert Jr., and Julie Albert were all there. I'm sorry, had Julie Albert gotten there yet? She came after me. Okay. So at some point, all the people that I just tipped off, they were all inside the house. Brian right? Albert Jr., Nicole, Brian, Matt, and Jen. You all discussed the incident together, correct? I wouldn't, I wouldn't describe it that way, no. Did each of you discuss your own perspectives about what had happened the night before in the early morning hours? Objection. I love it. People were in shock at the table, trying to figure out what happened. The math didn't make sense. John and the defendant never showed up. People were, were in shock. Trying to figure out what to say, right? No. And you were all talking within a shot of each other, right? We were all there in the kitchen talking together. At this meeting, uh, and these were friends and family, correct? Excuse me? These were friends and family, family amongst themselves, and you being a friend, these are friends and family inside that house discussing this incident, correct? Yes. So at this meeting, you actually instructed Jennifer McCabe to call P Canton PD and ask someone to come back. Objection. Sustained us to that form. You can ask it differently. At some point, did an officer come back to re-interview Jen McCabe? Yes. Jen McCabe had told you that she had information about something that Ms. Reed had said, correct? Objection. I'll allow it. Did she tell you that that morning? She didn't specifically tell me anything. She made a statement at the table to the group of people that, and she clearly seemed like she was in shock. She was upset. And she made a statement, something to the effect that Karen had opined that she had hit John. What she actually said was, I hope I didn't hit him. Correct? Objection. It's not what I heard. No. Who did, you, who did you ever tell this to? I've reported that. That she said, I hit him? Yes, I've reported it. What you reported was she said, Karen said, I hope I didn't hit him. And you said, oh, you need to tell Kenton PD that. Isn't that right? No, I don't think that's what I said. No. You're as sure about that as you are about that 222 call, right? Objection. Sustained. Mr. Higgins, what time did you leave Brian Albert's house? Um, it would have been, I believe, when Sergeant Lank arrived, and I think Lieutenant Gallagher might have been with him. You weren't scheduled to work that Saturday, correct? No. As a matter of fact, you weren't on duty at all. No, right? I wasn't. But you didn't go home and get some sleep or run errands. You went directly to Canton PD from 34 Fairview yet again, didn't you? Who could sleep after somebody just was discovered like that? Did you go home? 
or did you? I don't it? believe I did. No, I believe that might have been a stop at Canton PD before I went home. As a matter of fact, you didn't just stop at Canton PD. You spent the entire day at Canton PD on the 29th, didn't you? I don't know that I spent the entire day there. No. Well, you've got a key card, right? I do have a key card. And that key card logs swipes. That's correct. So it logs where you go, access to, and access inside the yes. Kenton PD, correct? Yes. When you got to Kenton PD, and you're telling this jury, you, you don't know how long you spent there. I don't know how long I spent there. I don't know if I left and I came back. I don't, I don't recall. So if the records indicate that you were there from 9 a.m. ish after 5. I don't know how the records would indicate that. I'll show you in a second. Okay. While you were at Canton PD, did you speak again to Brian Albert? I don't remember. While you were at Canton PD, did you speak again to Chief Berkowitz? Most likely. While you were at Canton PD, did you speak with Brian Albert's brother, Kevin Albert? I don't believe so. Yes. Yeah, this particular area. I just want to see if you have this. May I approach? Yes. Thank you. That's a 167 page document. So if you can glance through it, obviously don't read the whole thing, just glance through it and tell me if you recognize what that is. So it says can't police all events logged by day. So don't read it out loud, please. Oh, sorry, Just do you recognize yes, I it? Do. Okay. May I approach? Yes. This appears to be a log of key swipes in and around uh, Kenton PD, correct? Yes. And it's in reverse chronological order, in other words. I didn't note that, but okay. Okay. Uh, you acknowledge that that is a record of the key swipes that everybody uses moving in and around Kenton PD, going through doors, every place that needs a, a key swipe is logged. I would assume that's what that is, yes. Right. Um, it shows that you entered Kenton PD for the first time on the 29th at 1.27 a.m. Uh, does that sound about right when you got there, you say, to move your cars? It's possible. All right. Um, it shows that you were granted access to floor corridor 227. Does that mean anything to you? No. What about floor corridor 226 on the second floor? Second floor would make sense because I went in the building and then to the second floor. Um, let me have just a moment, Your Honor. Sure. By the way, did Brian Albert ever mention what time the officers cleared the scene? No. Without telling me the, the substance of the conversation, did he tell you when he talked to you at 720 or? Not that, not that, not that I recall, no. But you remember by the time you got there, the scene had basically been cleared. There wasn't a much of emergency vehicles, crime scene tape, nothing like that. I didn't see fire trucks. I, I might have saw a, cr a cruiser. I, I can't be sure. I don't recall. But you're not sure about that either. Sorry? I'm not, not sure about even seeing a cruiser, correct? Not 100%, no. You certainly were not contacted by a, a law enforcement officer who took your name and ID or anything like that. No, no, no. Parked and walked in the house. Yes.
You want to may I approach one more time? Yes. Same thing. I'd like to have that document marked uh, as next in order. Base pages. It represents base pages twenty eight fifty to. All right, so marked for identification. Are you, is there an agreement this is coming in, Mr. Lally? There is not, no. All right, so that's marked for identification, not next in order. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Higgins, if you will, I'm sorry. Are we ready? Thank you. May I proceed? Yes. Mr. Higgins, if you'll look at Bates page 3015, which actually is in order, that's not reverse chronologically, it's the second to the last page. I have it. Can you take a look at the eighth entry from the bottom? I see it. Does that indicate uh, that, that this all occurred on 129.22? This entry, at least? Well, I mean, I only, on that eighth entry, I see that that's, that's associated with my name. I don't know what the other ones are associated with. Right. It would be other individuals. In Kenton PD. I mean, this is the entire log for 129, right? Okay, but, but but what all I'm saying is that just my name is next to that. I don't see any other names, so. Right. Okay. So on 129, 2022, I'm just trying to orient you. At 120, I'm sorry, 127 and 52 seconds. I see it. granted Brian Higgins rear entry to secure corridor, rear entry to secure corridor, correct? Yes. All right, so that appears to be what the the log entry or the key swipe entry looks like when it's logged, correct? Yes. If you look at page 2967, I'm sorry, I said it backwards, 2976. Okay. Take a look at. So you said twenty nine seventy six. That's Bates page twenty nine seventy six. That's the bottom right hand. I, I see it. Yes. Look at the time entry for nine twenty three and thirty nine seconds. Nine twenty three and what? Thirty nine. And that's on twenty nine seventy six. Should be. I... Give me the time again, please. Why don't we do it this way? May I approach? Yes. This is an exact copy. Yeah, it, this time's all over the place. My apologies. That's okay. Fine. All right. Thank you. At 923.39, I'm sorry, have you got that in, in mind? I do, I see it, it's highlighted. At 923.39, that shows that you were granted access to the Sally Port to front exit, front entry to Sally Port, correct? Yes. There's only one Sally Port at Canton PD, correct? Yes, and there's a door on each side of the okay. Sally Port. Two yes. bay doors, right? Two bay doors on each side, yes. And then there's a, a pass through. personal pass through door as well. Yes. May I approach, Your Honor? Yes. <clears throat> I want to try to speed this up just a bit um, because it's small print, reverse chronological order. On page 2976, there's also an entry, same page, uh, should be right above that, 92350. 
showing that you, uh, you were granted access from booking to Sally Port as well, correct? Okay, 2976, and what was the Same time? Page. Yes. It's about maybe six entries above. Six entries up. You'll look for time 923 and 50 seconds. I see. Yes. All right. And that shows that you were granted access to the Sally Port and then from Sally Port to booking, correct? So it's booking to Sally Port, Sally Port to booking. Yes. Of course. Of course. May I inquire, Your Honor? Yes. Uh, that indicate I have no idea what the last question was. I'll see if I can make a new one up. At 9.23 and 50 seconds in the morning, um, you were granted access booking to Sally Port and Sally Port to booking, meaning swiped the key card in the door going from booking to Sally Port. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't want to belabor this because we could get bogged down into it all day long. Would you have any quarrel if those logs indicated that you were moving in and around Canton PD at 928, 953, 953, 954, 954, 1140, et cetera? We can look at every one of them if you want to. Well, that does it refresh your recollection? It would not be uncommon for me to move around Canton PD at, at, at various times or dates, right. middle of the night, during the day. But just because I, I, I swiped in somewhere and then you have a swipe at the end of the day doesn't mean I was there the whole day. I could have left. I could have come back. And I truly don't have a recollection. But I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't there all day. Fair enough. If we moved from 1140 to 1144, 1145, 1147, uh, 1151, 1152, and then jump to 205, would that be an explanation where you might have gone out for lunch, 1152? Could have. Okay, come back. If yes. there's a 205 and 56 entry, then obviously you're there, right? If, if, if the card was swiped, I was there. I mean, you're not, giving that, you're not giving that card to anybody else. No, I'm not. No way, right? Let's just look at 2905, because I want you to be comfortable. 20, uh, page 2905, and let's look at that 205 and 56 entry. I'm at 2905. Where would you like me to look? About right there. Basically, middle of the page. May I approach? Yes. This might be a little easier. Highlight it for you. I see it. Okay. So that would indicate that you were back at Canton PD at at least 20556, and you were granted access Sally Port to front door, correct? That's what it says, yes. Okay. 